today we're going to be looking at FabFilter Volcano. Now, this is a filter plugin, but it's a very powerful filter plugin with a lot of options. So we'll start off at the bottom. So here's the MIDI line, which you could, which is like any other MIDI line. So you just click this, click what you want to learn. So let's say you want the frequency, and then you just twiddle a knob on your keyboard or your modulation wheel, and it will automatically map that to the frequency and then here we have auto mute self oscillator which basically means if you have a high resonant peak at the end of uh, the audio that's been playing it can sometimes ring out like a like an oscillation so what this means is that as soon as the audio ends it will end the filter so it doesn't carry on playing so it's good to have this checked here we have output and then input which is basically just bypasses it so if I was to play it with output you can hear that it's working and then if you click input it's like it's not on there. so sidechain is also you can select a midi trigger and then maybe sidechain the filter frequency so yeah, you can um have the have it have the input side chained so you could uh use the f f uh, the filter frequency like an envelope. But we'll just leave that to output so that it's on. Here's the input levels, so you can turn the gain up or down and if you wanna revert it to normal on a Mac you click command and click or on a PC that would be control and click. And you can also edit the pan, so left and right. And then same thing with the output. And then here's a mix knob, so if you wanted to do like parallel processing, you can do that. And then you can you can turn this bigger as well. So now we get into the filter section. So the interesting thing about FabFilter Volcano 2 is that you can use multiple filters at one time. So we can use, here we have three filters going on. Each have individual properties that you can edit. They're the same for each filter. So you can change the frequency of one, the resonant peak of one, and all different characteristics. So we can have a smooth filter, a raw, hard, hollow, extreme, easy going, easy going filter. And then you can have it low pass, high pass, or band pass. <coughs> And then you can change the amount of, you can change the level of filtering, so you can have it by 12 dB per octave, 24 or 48 dB per octave. And then this is the interesting part, this is the filter delay. So, here we have three filters going on, we'll add a fourth. Let's make this, uh, let's make this a band pass. So this is really useful for a lot of like dubstep stuff, if you want to make some interesting filters. So what you can also do is if you click the chain, you can chain the filters to each other. So if you move this, all of them move. So you can do some really interesting, almost like almost like phasing filters or flanging filters, which again is really useful for sound design and dubstep and stuff. So if we were to play this and move this around. Okay, so this this is like it's kind of like in Ableton's operator where each oscillator is FM'd into the next oscillator. So this is just the way that the filters interact with each other. So here they just go from one to two to three to four. So the output is only coming out of four after being filtered by all the others. So if we do this, all of them are playing at the same time. So you can really hear what it's doing to it. So yeah, it's a really powerful filter, there's a lot you can do with it. And they have multiple different setups for filtering. For almost unlimited possibilities really. And this is an interesting part as well, there's a left-right 
So we can have the first and second filter doing the left and the third and fourth doing the right to create really weird stereo imaging filters. And maybe if we turn filter one to uh, pan pass. So yeah, if you just click this, you can move them all at once. And you can also do it mid-side as well for like mid-side processing if you're trying to get a really wide sound. So yeah, the possibilities for this footer are almost endless. And you can also change the delay of each footer. So if you wanted filter 3 to react a bit later than filter 2, you can do that. And it gives you really interesting results. So let's take this off mid-side. Hang on, I'll put it back to this. So yeah, there's a lot you can do with this filter, really. And there's um, quite a lot of presets as well for if you just are looking for a certain thing or a certain type of sound. So yeah, that was my walkthrough of FabFilter Volcano 2. This song, by the way, is my uh, Janae Echo Flip, which you can uh, find on my SoundCloud. At soundcloud.com slash jhudsonmusic. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you learned something.